Sitting too much may actually impair your recovery from workouts, according to a new study by Cal State researchers. Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Stepani, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'll be covering topics on training, nutrition, and supplementation, as well as anything else my subscribers want to know. If you find this information helpful, please hit the like button, share, and comment below. And if you want to be notified when I post new videos, please subscribe. I don't know about you, but I know plenty of bodybuilders, powerlifters, and other strength athletes who believe that doing as little daily physical activity as possible, such as walking, doing chores, and other labor, will help them recover better. While that strategy may sound intuitive, this study actually suggests that too much sitting with not enough daily physical activity may actually impair your recovery following workouts. The researchers reported that there is a strong correlation between sitting time and both creatine kinase levels and myoglobin levels. Again, two markers of muscle damage. The more time subjects spent sitting in their day, the higher their creatine kinase and myoglobin levels were for the 72 hours following the leg workout. The higher levels of creatine kinase and myoglobin mean that the muscles are not recovering adequately. So the less active you are in your daily routine, the longer it may take you to recover from your workouts. Now, I've previously covered the health consequences of too much sitting, which can lead to detriments in your health, body composition, and even your brain function. But now we have evidence that too much sitting may even be bad for your recovery following workouts. It likely comes down to the greater blood flow that comes from more physical activity, which delivers more oxygen and nutrients to the recovering muscles, as well as removes more waste products from them. So after workouts, don't lay back with your feet up to better spur recovery. Instead, stay more active by doing some light physical activity, such as walking, running errands, or doing chores. This may help you to recover faster after your workouts to allow you to get better results from your next workout. Also consider my 30-60 rule, where for every 30 minutes you're sitting consecutively, you get up and do at least 60 seconds of any activity, such as walking, stretching, calisthenics, or any activity that gets you up off the chair or couch and moving. Read more about my 3060 rule in my free article, Sitting is the New Smoking, on my fitness website and app, jimstepani.com. This is Dr. Jim Stepani reminding you to train harder and recover smarter.